Hello, hello, hello. Welcome. Whoops, sorry. Welcome to Tuesday Night Live. It has been a long time since I have been live on Tuesday nights, and I apologize for that, but it is Tuesday night, uh, the 27th of June, 2023, and my name is Betty Sakosha. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Um, and the team leader for Power of Positive Inking, and I am happy to be back live again. It's been kind of a crazy um, month, but uh, hopefully moving forward, things will be a little bit more regular. I'm usually on Tuesday nights at 7 o'clock-ish, um, and I may be altering that up a little bit, so if there's... Um, not sure the best day of the week to go live. So right now it has been Tuesday nights for quite some time and I'm hoping that it will, um, that I can find a regular time that's going to work well for most people. And I may add in a daytime feature as well. So if you are watching either live or on the replay, let me know if there's an evening that seems to be best and, and or a daytime that seems to be best. And I will see what I can do. But I am here today. That said, I will not be here next week because it will be July 4th, which is a holiday. And nobody should be watching me on a holiday. You should be out having fun. Um, not that this is not going to be fun, but I think you can have more fun. Um, in any case, um, I am here this evening to tell you that Stampin' Up's special, we have two specials going on this month, um, and this month ends very quickly. It ends on Friday. I'm trying to see my calendar. It ends on Friday, so you've only got a couple more days to take advantage of this, but one thing is a um, designer series paper sale that I'm going to talk about tonight. And then the second thing is that there is a bonus if you are interested in signing up. And signing up means um, you get a lot of stuff for a little bit of money. You get $155 worth of product for $99. No shipping, just tax on that. Um, and um, for as long as you remain active, you are able to get a discount on anything you purchase for yourself or you're able to sell to others and... Um, get some benefit from that as well. So um, if this is something you've ever thought about, this is the time to really think about it. You've got until Friday, so get thinking. Um, but the, it's a it's a, it's a a good deal. Normally it's $125, so you get an extra $30 worth of stuff of your choice, anything in the catalog. But tonight I am here to talk about Designer Series Paper. I'm going to give you um, and my new favorite stamp set <laughs> of the week. I think it's new every week. Um, in any case, today's new favorite stamp set I'm going to talk about in just a second. Let me move it so you can guess what it is while I flip you down. There we go. Okay. So, whoops, you can see it. Can you see it? My stamp, literally, I haven't done this in so long that I kind of forgot what I'm doing here and my stand literally fell apart minutes before I came on live. And I'm not even, timing wise, this isn't even perfect timing. Um, I was supposed to be on at seven. In any case, here's my contact information if you need to contact me or place an order, bettyboop.stampinup.net. And um, I generally post about once a week on my um, blog, which is boopteak.com dot wordpress.com. Okay, so the designer series paper, for those of you not familiar with the lingo, designer series paper means really pretty paper made by Stampin' Up. It generally has two sides to it depending on the paper, but almost, yep, everything that um, is on sale right now does have two sides to it. So I'm not going to show you all of them tonight. Um, I believe I have shown these before, and if you are interested, just get in touch with me, and I'd be happy to give you more information, but these can also be found in the catalog as well. Um, I am going to deal with, I am going to show you a couple of them, kind of highlight a few that um, I have made projects with, and, uh, and at the end, I'll show you some more samples as well. But this is my current um, favorite stamp set called Just My Type. It exists by itself. It does not have any dies that go with it. Um, it is just adorable. 
unto itself. It's only $24. It's a photopolymer stamp set. And I'm going to show you a couple cards with it tonight. Um, I'm going to make a, well, yeah, I'm going to make a couple cards with it. And then I'm going to show you some other samples made with it that kind of feature some designer series paper. So whether you've purchased your designer series paper previously or you want to purchase it now, um, you will have some ideas of what you can do with it in a really simple stamp set. I did want to mention that most of these papers, I'm quickly looking, most of these papers are 12 by 12 paper, but some of them are six by six papers. What I show you tonight, I will point out if it's a six by six or two. actually what I'm showing are all six by six, um, but many of these papers come 12 by 12. All right, so my first sample that I want to show you tonight. Um, I haven't actually, <laughs> we're gonna give it a shot because I, I, well, I've made one sample, but I'm gonna change out the colors. Um, Stampin' Up! provides us with a color coach and this is available um, for everybody. You don't just have to be a demonstrator to get this, um, but the color coach gives you three samples of colors that coordinate nicely together, um, featuring like each group features one color. So for instance, Mossy Meadow, Garden Green, Pretty Peacock, Glossal Green, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so the color combination that I'm using is right here. This is the one provided by Stampin' Up. Uh, Pretty Peacock, Melon Mambo, and Gray Granite. So that's the combination that I'm using. I said the paper I was using tonight was all six by six. I lied. This is 12 by 12 paper. This pack of paper is a monstrous pack of paper. You get 48 sheets of this paper. It is called Delightfully Eclectic. And there is a lot of paper, everything from pretzels to letters to flowers to swans, you name it, this, this has got it. There's all sorts of really cool patterns in this. And you get four sheets of each. So you get a lot of paper. And this is on sale. It is normally $30, but it's on sale for $25.50. And so I wanted to show you a really cool um, card made with that. And did I mention my new favorite stamp set? Just my type. So I'm going to use the typewriter part of this. And I'm using this paper here, which kind of to me look like keyboard keys. I know, not really typewriter keys, but keyboard keys. All right, so I've cut my paper. I'm, I'm using the Pretty Peacock, the Gray Granite, and the um, Melon Mambo. And I'm going to stamp my typewriter in the Melon Mambo. You know what? If you give me one second. I need to get my um, paper piercing mat. Sorry about that. Um, this is a photopolymer stamp set, and it definitely stamps best if you've got a little squish factor to it. So for my squish factor today, I'm using my um, paper piercing mat. All right, so I'm going to stamp my... If you are using red rubber stamps, you don't, you don't need the squish factor. It's because there's no squish in the photopolymer that you need this. Okay, so I'm stamping this in my gray granite like so. And then the top of it is going to be the paper. So you can use paper that is, there's kind of a paper that is straight or paper that is a little crooked. I might for this one use the crooked paper, but I do want to give you a little helpful hint here. Um, when you have something like this, it's pretty flexible. The best way to line it up is just to let it sit and then pick it up with your block in kind of its natural position. That is the, the way that you will most likely not get it to warp. All right, and because this is photopolymer, I can look right through and line this baby up. So there's my paper coming out of the top of my typewriter. And then I'm gonna add a little heart that comes with this set. I'm gonna do that in my Melon Mambo. Um, this is super squishy, super juicy. Um, so I want to give you a helpful hint. 
that I wasn't planning on. So give me a second to get my supplies together. If this, if the stamp is too juicy, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this. Come on, focus. Focus on my hand. There we go. I don't know if you can see, but it is super, super juicy there, and that's not great. It's not going to give you a great image. So the best thing to do is just to take your ink pad and squish the ink back in. And I don't know if you can kind of see, but it's actually the top of the pad is looking a little bit lighter. Hello, Lori. Welcome. And then when I stamp, I'm going to get a much better image. So let me give the, I say that. Looks like I've got a little, let me, nope, that looks fine. Okay. There we go. All right, so that's my image there. I'm quickly going to cut this out. And if you know me, you know I hate to fussy cut. So if it were difficult, I wouldn't be doing it. Um, but this comes together. This is very easy to fussy cut. I'm not fussy cutting everything in this set. I'm not gonna, I'm not crazy. I'm not gonna fussy cut flowers or anything, but this image right here is totally fussy cuttable. Okay, and if you are not familiar with our snips, these are our super sharp scissors and they make fussy cutting almost enjoyable. <laughs> Too much to call it completely enjoyable, but almost enjoyable. Okay, so that's my image, fussy cut. Now I'm gonna take the background words, which say, you hold the key to my heart. Um, and I am gonna do this on my scrap paper because I'm gonna go off the edge and I don't wanna do that. Well, actually, I'll show you what I do when nobody's watching. I just show that, shove that right underneath my scrap paper and get my words and I'm just going to I'm going to do them straight but they are if they don't line up I'm not going to worry about it because I'm going to kind of offset them all the way down here this is my background I don't know if any of you this goes to show my age when I was in high school I um had to take typing well had to it was offered in high school, and my mother said, if you want an electric typewriter, you have to take typing. And I wasn't particularly good at it. <laughs> you remember you had to have, I don't know if you remember. If you're my age, you remember you had to do so many words per minute. It was a lot of stress. Anyway, my mother, um, I did get my electric, I did get an electric typewriter. As it turns out, it didn't stand the the test of time and now my kids don't even know what an electric typewriter is okay so i'm going to put my dimensionals on the back peel these off i'm down to dimensional backs there i'm gonna put that right in the middle there bring this over and i'm going to put this paper on here oh this is the back side of that paper it's really kind of cool every so often there's a random um, bubble bath heart amongst the um, white hearts on the on the peacock paper. It's kind of pretty. Okay, I'm gonna put this askew because I don't really like it straight. Um, if that's your if that's your thing, go ahead and make it straight. Um, but I like it askew, and I feel like it gives me a lot more. Um, a lot more flexibility if I'm not straight. Okay, so card number one. There it is. Super, super easy with that new set, even with the fussy cutting and all. I'm going to show you another sample. I think I actually, well, you tell me what you like best. Um, but this is another sample that I made earlier today. I thought this uh, color combination was a little bit more... Um, I don't know if masculine is the right word, but a little bit less uh, pink. <laughs> so that's, um, I actually think that I prefer this more. And I wanted to show you, I don't know if you can see, but I actually added the white enamel um, to the keys. So they kind of have a feel to them. 
you can't tell, but they do. You can hear it, right? Um, but anyway, so that was um, a fun thing that you can add. It does take a little while to dry, but it's a fun, fun little feature with that. So, um, and then on the inside, I put um, on this one, you hold the key to my heart and another heart on there as well. Okay, so that's one sample, and that's with the paper called Delightfully Eclectic. Okay, one more sample I'm going to show you is done with the gingham paper. So the gingham paper is a six by six paper. It's called Glorious Gingham, and it comes in um, Melon Mambo Peacock. Uh, lemon lime twist blueberry and pecan pie so those are the colors that are featured here so that's one of the gingham patterns and then when you flip it over to the other side you get a much smaller pattern but the same colors all right so let's put that aside i'm going to use the blue and i wanted to show you how i cut this here so it comes in six by six and this is what the paper looked like prior to cutting. So I cut it at three and three quarter inches by five inches. So this is how this is going to fit on my card front. And that leaves you with um, a little strip on the side that you can use for another project. And this, which I'm actually going to use on the inside of the card, this little one inch strip here. All right, so let's put that right now on the inside. I'm using the larger gingham. Um, I think the small gingham looks just as cute. Probably should have done that because my other sample is with the larger gingham. Just show you the difference, but I didn't think of it. Sorry. Okay, so I am going to take this stamp, the flower stamp. This card is inspired by a card that Stampin' Up! sent to the... Um, to the uh, demonstrators who earned a trip to Norway. Less than 1% of demonstrators earned this trip, and I certainly was not among them, um, but some fantastic demonstrators earned a trip to Norway, and they got a card very similar to the, well, very similar. <laughs> it was different, but this is how the, what my card was inspired by. So this, again, is from the Just My Type, I'm using this flower image down here, and the Memento ink. And then I'm going to pull in some of my blends. So blends are alcohol markers. Super easy to color with. In fact, let's see if I can zoom and show you. The nice thing about these is that you never get lines. Um, regular markers are fine. Don't get me wrong, but they're not as pretty. <laughs> these, if particular, I mean, the nice thing about blends is that you can actually blend colors and add depth, but... Um, I'm not doing that today. I'm not blending colors. I'm just straight out using what I've got in front of me. Um, but all the same, it's going to give a really nice um, colored image without leaving any lines. The important thing to know is that you do need to use the Memento ink when you do this. Um, the stays on ink does not work for this. It would definitely end up ble um, bleeding, and you don't want that. Nobody wants bloody flowers, right? <laughs> I think that's a safe statement. Okay, so I'm using um, a lot of my bright colors. I've used Real Red, Daffodil Delight, Calypso Coral. Um, this is Granny Apple Green, and I used, pretty sure it was Peacock, Light Parakeet Party. Peacock? What the heck am I talking about? Wrong bird. Parakeet Party. Okay, there we go. Now that that is done, I'm going to take a two-inch circle punch. These are available online. They're not in the big catalog, but they're on an online exclusive. If you don't already own a two-inch punch, you need it. So go get it while it's available. And then this punch, I don't know what we call this punch, but there's the number for it. Um... I don't, I honestly, I have no idea what we call it, but if you know, leave it in the comments. I'm not sure what we call it. In any case, um, it works really well with the two inch punch and can be layered just like that. 
All right, let me pull in my almost finished card so you can see what I've done. And then we can um, make the back of it. Okay, or make the, um, choose the back of it. Okay, so uh, this is what I used here. I just thought it had kind of a nice summer fun, I don't know, picnic-y kind of look about it. Um, so this is the blueberry bushel that I used here and yet no blueberry bushel here. I thought that was fine. Um, and in the background I used, um, the sample that Stampin' Up! had had a different, uh, punch in the background, but I didn't own it. So I'm using this one here, which I think is called, I don't know. I don't know the name of this either, but there's the number, 153608. And you are able to make different um, edges on a tag, kind of the, you know, the flag edge and then the pointy edge. And you can use this on one half, three quarter or one inch strips of any length. So that's what I did here. And then I just finished it off with a little of the um, Baker's Twine. This actually is the um, In Color Baker Baker's Twine which, um, while not exactly the same color as the blue, looks pretty darn close. So I was pleased enough with that. So that's fine. Okay, so now I just need to decide what color in the background. So um, I'm considering red. Let me grab my bone folder. So this is what red would look like. Pretty good, I think. Pretty good. This is what the blueberry bushel would look like, which is the same color as the gingham paper. So it's definitely going to match, um, but it's a lot of blue. Or Calypso Coral, which is my last option that I pulled out, and that matches one of the flowers. Um, I am going to vote that out. And I think I'm going to go with the red. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with the red. Um, let me know if you would have gone with something different. But that's the choice I'm going to make here. And I just layered this whole thing on crumb cake. Because crumb cake is a neutral. It's going to go with anything. And then the one strip that I had from the leftover from when I cut this strip here. I'm just going to put this on the inside. If you know me. I am not a fan of writing in cards, just a fan of making them. So the less I have to write, the happier I am. So if I can fill something up with a stamp or some paper, that makes me happy. Okay, so that's another pack of paper that is on sale. And this pack of paper is on sale. This is cheap paper. This normally is only $10.50, so it's $8.92 right now. This gingham paper and gingham paper can be used for a lot of different things. All right, let me show you um, another pack of paper that is available using the same stamp set is the um, Fresh as a Daisy paper, which comes, um, it's, I don't even know how to describe this paper. It's kind of all over the place. It's got a lot of different looks about it. And then one of the papers um, you have probably seen, and I had this previously on a, um, on a video, but is this sheet here, which has, um, it's all kind of blocked images that work really nicely if you cut them up and use them separately for cards. Or use them however you want. And then the other side is kind of a wash. So there's um, daisy images on one side, and then the other sides are kind of more of a neutral wash. So that's the side that I chose for this card here. And that, again, is using the Just My Type um, stamp set. Simple, simple, simple. All right. Where is... Okay. Okay. So this paper here is called, oh, so this uh, daisy paper is on sale for $10.62. It's normally $12.50. This paper here is called Bright and Beautiful, and you might know it as the balloon paper. <laughs> it goes with the, I think it's called Bright Balloons, something like that. I don't know. Clearly, I don't know the names of anything. I know what they look like. I don't know the names of them. But this paper's got a lot of fun color, and it comes in 6x6. Six six. And then the opposite side um, 
if the front side is busy, the opposite side is pretty plain. So I kind of mix this up here, but just trust me on that. If one side is really busy, the other side's a little bit more plain and more of a wash. So for this paper, I wanted to maximize using, it's a six by six paper and I wanted to maximize using that. So I took my image, um, I took this, uh, where are you here? Well, I used it, that's why it's not here. <laughs> it's this balloon, this bubble paper. I don't know what you call this, this circle paper, I call it bubbles. Um, so I used this, but I wanted to maximize this with just being a six by six paper. So I cut three by three squares. So from one sheet of this, you would get four cards. And these are two samples of the cards that I made with this. I just swapped it out. I just swapped out um, the colors in the background of this. And I used the hello stamp from this stamp set here. So this is all one stamp. And you may be wondering, how did you cut out those circles? Well, the truth is I actually used an old three quarter inch circle punch. Stampin' Up! no longer sells this, but you might have this in your stash. Um, and if you do, it works perfect to pop out these circles. So um, all of our designer series paper comes with a little, kind of, uh, cheat sheet would be the wrong word, but the back sheet of all of these papers tells you the colors that are in it. It gives you a lot of information, like the, like the code. Um, but it also gives you um, information about all the colors that are co that coordinate with this inside. There we go. Focus um, inside the um, it, with this designer series paper. So I took five of these colors and I stamped hello five times, tone on tone. So I use fresh freesia on fresh freesia. Um, misty Moonlight on Misty Moonlight, etc., etc., And I got these and I punched them all out. So I actually now have the makings for five cards because I've got all these leftover hellos that I could use. Um, and then I just popped these up with dimensionals. This one I just zhuzhed up a little bit by using some adhesive back sequins. But super, super simple to do, um, if you, particularly if you have a three-quarter inch circle punch. Um, if you ever have a circle punch, treat it well and never get rid of it. <laughs> you never know when they're going away. All right. So like I said, you can make four of these cards from one piece of paper. All right. One final thing I'm going to show you. There's so many more samples I could show you, but I'm going to wrap this up by showing you one final sample. Um, a little while ago, I did a... Um, I did a collaboration with a couple of other demonstrators and we were presenting some of the new things in the catalog. And this pack of paper is called the Inked Botanicals and go and kind of coordinates with the tiled and inked, inked and tiled, inked and tiled, I think, um, stamp set. And also coordinates with some punches. It's a little bit tough to see with this glare here. Um, but this is just designer series paper along with some letters that I cut out put the word saver on there, but you could imagine all of the um, different kinds of DSP that we have, different DSPs that you have in your collection, because if you're watching this, you definitely have some in your collection, um, and you could do the same type of project, um, with, you know, with a completely different look. It could be a fall look, it could be a winter look, it could be a baby look, could be any kind of thing, right? Um, so this paper is also on sale. This is 12 by, uh, excuse me, this is six by six paper. It is normally 12.50, but it's on sale for 10.62. So let me bring in kind of the samples that I showed you tonight. This, by the way, the this home decor thing did not use the, um, the Just My Type stamp set, but. But everything else that I showed you tonight did, along with j just kind of featuring some DSP as well. So the stamp set is on, is uh, $24. It's kind of a standalone thing. And all the designer series paper that I've shown you tonight, as well as some others, are on sale for 15% off for the rest of this month. So let me just flip you around and chat for a second. Whoops. 
There we go. All right. So it's on, like, as I mentioned, the DSP is on sale for 15% um, off for the rest of the month, which is until Friday. So if there's anything that you saw there that you love, um, you may want to add that to your stash. If you already own them, here are some ideas that you could do with them. Um, I will give you a heads up that there will be a an online exclusive or new online exclusive items um, becoming available on July 6th. So you'll definitely want to tune back or definitely um, visit my website or the website of your demonstrator on July 6th. Did I say June? July 6th because um, there's some good stuff coming. So um, you, do, you, you don't want to miss that. You have to trust me on that. All right, um, if there's anything you saw that you need, like I said, go to, um, it's available till the end of the month on sale. Go to my website at bettyboop.stampinup.net or to the website of your demonstrator and he or she will be happy to take care of you as well. Um, if you're interested in signing up or getting more information because it's really kind of a no-lose situation, it, Almost sounds too good to be true, so I think some people are skeptical about that, but you got to trust me. There is no, you can get a lot of stuff at a really good price and make this what you need it to be, whether it be a discount or a little bit of extra money, however you want to do things. Um, and when you're ready to walk away, you just walk away. So, um, but maybe you won't walk away. Maybe you'll stay around. But I'd love to have you on my team if that is something that is of interest to you. So just reach out to me and I'd be happy to answer any questions for you on that. All right, so that is it for tonight. I'm going to wrap this up here. I will not be here next Tuesday because it is the 4th of July. Um, I may pop on at some point this weekend, but um, it is likely to be a busy weekend for most people, so I may not. <laughs> but I will be in early next week, but not on the 4th of July. So um, reach out to me if you have any questions. I'd be happy to help you out. Um, otherwise, uh, tune in and I will see you next week sometime in July. All right. Thanks, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.